much for having me here today, albeit a little later than originally anticipated. Um, thank you to all of you who've helped organise today, um, particularly to Natalie for having us here at the National Gallery in such wonderful surroundings. So as, as you've just heard, I became Global Ambassador for 100 Women in Hedge Fund's Next Generations Initiative. That's such a, just trips off the tongue nicely, that, that title, in November last year. And of course, this initiative was launched to inspire, mentor, and provide access, peer network support to young women looking to start to build their careers in finance and investments. And I'm really delighted to be involved in this new direction for 100 Women in Hedge Funds over the next three years. And I'll be looking to serve as an advocate for increased diversity in the financial services industry, as well as raising the industry's visibility and appeal for young women considering their career options. Last November, I attended an event in New York designed to stimulate conversations around the issues that are currently serving as barriers to success and progression for young women in these financial se sectors. Now, I've no doubt today that many of the discussions we're going to have will fall upon common ground. What we know, though, is that mentoring is a powerful tool to aiding success. And in a year where 100 Women in Hedge Funds, as you know, is celebrating mentoring, it's a good basis for our discussions. I'm delighted to hear from Amanda that 100 Women in Hedge Funds is already identifying industry scholarships and internship opportunities for young women at university and business schools globally. So young women take note. Also that 100 Women Hedge Fund members are being offered chances to engage and participate in, pa in panels at investment conferences on campus at some of the top universities and business schools in North America, Europe and Asia. And I hope that 100 Women in Hedge Fund's membership is going to take full opportunity to participate in these initiatives. On the flight on the way out here last week, I watched the film Suffragettes. It struck me that in 1918, almost 100 years ago, the UK introduced the first voting rights for women. And over the following decades, other countries followed suit. The women of the suffragette movement were brave and tenacious and fought hard to bring about dramatic change for women's rights. Yet even 100 years later, there are still huge discrepancies in how women and men are treated, particularly in the workplace. And so the fight for equality continues. Certainly, certainly, albeit in somewhat less dramatic ways. I hope, therefore, that 100 Women in Hedge Fund's Next, Fund genera Next Generation Initiative will not only continue to raise the issue of gender inequality across the financial services industry, but will be a catalyst for change for the future. May I wish 100 women and hedge funds Cayman Island every good fortune with your endeavors. You clearly have a vibrant, very well organized, tenacious and vivacious organization here. And I have no doubt that it's going to go on from strength to strength. And I really look forward to coming back and seeing how you're doing with all of the different initiatives and all of the different opportunities that are being placed in front of you. I hope that every young woman that comes into the financial services industry here is going to take full advantage of what you have to offer, of what we have to offer to our next generations. And I have no doubt that all of the angels and all of the people working in this organization are going to do everything they can to help our young women of the future. I thank you very much for having this opportunity to meet with all of you here today. And I look forward to seeing you again in the not too distant future. Thank you.